Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are doing watercolor ink coasters with some leafing. Um, these are some I did already. These are ready for resin. So I want to get four more done. These I use silver leafing on. Today I'm going to use gold. Just so I have some of each. I have blank tiles. These are just four by four ceramic tiles. I get mine at Home Depot, the ones at Lowe's have like a, or at least Milo's, have an ivory color and a barcode on the side. I don't like to mess with those, so Home Depot. I have a cup here with some ink. I still have some green ink in the cup, or alcohol, not ink. Um, I have an assortment of brushes, and I have a bunch of medicine cups. So I'm just going to grab out a couple of cups. And on this one, I'm going to use some Everglades from Tim Holtz. I'm just going to put a couple drops in the cup. It makes it easier for me. I feel like I have more control. That was Limeade. And this one is Cobalt. And I may do just a couple of drops of yellow. And I may decide I don't like the gold when I'm done with this. So, we'll see. But I'm just going to dip my brush in the plain alcohol. Hopefully it's not going to be too green. And then I'm going to pick up some of the color and pick a spot and just brush it on. And you can add some more alcohol if you feel like it's too saturated or didn't run as much as you wanted. And because I touched it with a little green on my glove, I'm going to make sure I do this area with green. Make sure you go over your sides where your color runs over the edge. Let's hit that out so you can see. The edges do have little bumps where they lock together the tiles. Don't worry about that. Just go over them. So like I didn't do my blue on the edge, so I would make sure I go back in and catch that. And your colors will start to blend on the brush if you stick to one brush. Don't worry about it because you do want them to blend anyways. Stuff in my room is deciding to rearrange itself. But the colors will overlap and change and build new color. I'm going to drop down and get my edge. Need a little more ink. Blot my brush off. I'm gonna go in and catch some of that yellow. And just keep building your way around the the tile until you have everything filled and you're happy with the way it looks. I have done these where I dot directly on the tile and I will do one like that. For me, I feel like I get better control this way. So I tend to stick to this method. I don't get as much dark spots and overlap. Clean your brush. Go back into the yellow here. And 
I'm not really going to worry about cleaning my brush in between that time. Again, I'm going to make sure I get my edges just because you do want full coverage because you'll see the sides when they're done. <clears throat> You're going to epoxy resin the sides and the top. You can just let the color flow on its own. When you hit the old areas with the alcohol or the other ink color, it will reactivate what's already there. I'm going to turn it so I can easier reach this corner. I'm going to dip in that limeade again. And definitely don't forget your edges. Can't stress that enough. And even if your ink starts to dry in your cup, as soon as you hit it with that alcohol, it's going to reactivate that pigment that got left behind as the alcohol evaporated. That's why you put it in something like a cup rather than on a flat surface where it'll spread, spread. I do think I want that just a little thinner. I think I'm just gonna grab some more of the limeade to finish this off. And again, I'm kind of reactivating that. And I didn't get this spot the first time around, so I'm going to make sure I hit that now. And I'm going to look across and make sure I have full coverage. Or close to full coverage, at any rate, on the sides. And if I don't, I'm going to fill it in. It's okay if you overlap your colors a little bit. I'm not going to hurt anything. Okay, so I think I'm good with this. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Now, <clears throat> for the ones with the silver, I used Mod Podge and I didn't really love the way the Mod Podge worked. So I was looking for my Tacket over and over glue and I couldn't find it. All I could find was this already mixed Tacket. So I'm going to go with that. So this is going to be a little bit different of a process than with the Mod Podge. So I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to dip it and I'm going to just run some lines where I'm going to want to put that 
leafing down. And I'm not going to do every vein. I'm just going to pick a couple spots here and there. And attack it. You really need to, when it's mixed especially, it's going to have to sit for a few minutes to be ready to go. So, And where it is sort of dried in the cup, it is very sticky. So I'm going to set this one to the side for a second. I'm going to pull the next tile and I'm going to do a, I think I'm going to do red, orange, and yellow. Reds sometimes get weird, so I'm going to see how they work today. I don't know why, just red ink in particular is sometimes finicky. So I'm going to use Valencia. I don't have any Tim Holtz. Um, and I always forget that Valencia is more towards a red than an orange. So I'm actually going to pull another orange real quick. The Valencia and the Crimson are pretty close. So let me grab Grab the sunset orange. Okay. And I'm going to add a few more drops of the yellow. And I don't want that tacket to sit too long, but it should be fine to sit long enough for me to do. I am going to grab a fresh cup for some alcohol simply because this color family is going to be so different. So, use a different shape brush this time around. So, this is one of the oranges. My glove is sticky from the tacket now. As you can see, it's tacky. So I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm just going to do a couple of wider swatches with the yellow. And again, I'm going to make sure I get my edges. I'm going to try and make sure I don't get any blue or green transferred over. I'm going to dip that again and just swipe across again. Okay. So I'm going to dip into one of the two oranges. This is the Valencia, which is the more ready orange. overlap on that yellow a little bit. So it's the alcohol. Clean my brush out a little bit. I'm going to go into the red this time. I don't want to overdo it with the red because like I said sometimes red does some strange things. I totally forgot this edge, so I will catch that up in a little bit. So that red is pretty saturated. I'm going to dip the alcohol brush 
and blot it just a little bit and grab that again. I'm going to go into the other orange. I'm going to try and get a little bit of an overlap on some of these colors. Just have to grab some red to do this orange. like holding it up I'm getting it far too close to you so around the edge I'm gonna go I'm filling all my gaps I feel like I have some odd transition lines, so I'm just going to try and soften that up a little bit and let the colors blend a little bit more by barely touching them with the alcohol brush. I feel like when I use the crimson, the edges always get a little blackened for some reason. It was a crimson that I'd used um, on tiles that I actually caught on fire that I'd touched to the flame I would understand it but this bottle of crimson isn't one of those so I can't explain it that way I kind of like the way it started with the drag so I'm kind of trying to just Add one more in at the bottom there. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my brush good, as good as I can. All right, so I'm gonna put some tacket on this one, and then I'm gonna switch back to the first one I did the tacket on, and we'll see how that's ready. Um, I don't really know where I want to put them on this one. I want to do a pretty good line on this corner. And maybe one here. I'm not going to use a ton of the leafing. I just want a little bit to break up the inks a little bit. So I think on that one, that's going to be it. I'm going to swap it again. I can still see some of the white, so we'll see if it's ready or not. I know I'm going to struggle with this because my gloves are sticky now. 
so when you buy this one some of the sheets are tiny and some of them are just enormous but the leaf should stick to the glue and then release from the other spots and I just use a pair of scissors sometimes my fingers and I'll go back in with a um, brush and dust dust some of it off pat it down The sheet should tear like where it's stuck and where it's not going to stick. This isn't the pair of scissors I normally use for this. These have this little weird end to end to them. See, some of these sheets are huge wadded up in here, and it's too much. So, I'm gonna grab a brush. I had a better brush for this, and I don't see it right now. Grab this one, a round brush. It should kind of brush off the edges on the spots where it's not stuck down. The sheet should just kind of fall apart. See, this spot is where it was still milky and not quite to the tacky phase of the tacky glue that happens so i'm just gonna pat 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 them down i would like this piece to break off Be careful doing that, that you don't scratch the ink on the coaster. I think that's enough on that one. And this will get a coat of resin and that'll be it for this one. <clears throat> so I'm going to set that one aside. This one still has a lot of white, so I'm going to set it aside. I don't want to do it that tacky. And that wet. Alright, this time I'm going to do pinks and purples, but I'm going to do it the, uh, put some on the tile. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start with one drop of each color because um, I don't want it to take over in a hurry. This one's magenta. That was a tiny drop, so I'm going to give it a second one. Sometimes I can't get a tiny drop.
I just don't want to super saturate the coaster to start. I do want just a couple more drops. Okay. So, again, I want to start with a fresh little tiny cup. You don't want to waste your alcohol, but I am going to rinse the brush again now that I have some fresh. Okay. So most of that orange is out of there. So I'm just going to get the brush damp. And I'm just going to brush over it. One color at a time. And you'll be able to move the inks fairly well this way. Push that pink back through. just not going to get as soft a watercolor effect when you do it this way as you do depending on your colors the other way. I'm going to have to get all of my edges. Just keep blending until you're happy. Most of them trying to smooth out all the actual ring shaped drops. <clears throat> and I'm just going to spin it and touch up all my edges. Make sure I have them all. And put some of that purple down over the edge so I don't end up with just a pale pink solid side. So I'll put the uh, tacket on that shortly. I'll do that part off camera. Just going to do one more quick. I'm going to do it that same style. See if I can pull off a rainbow of some sort. Didn't put any pink at the top. Drain a piece of my hair through it. It's an aquamarine. Do a couple shades of. I might put some aqua in this one. And a little bit of cobalt. And I'll grab a purple. Maybe two. Okay. So. 
This cup had pinky purples in it, so I'm going to start that one right at the bottom. Put a couple drops in the blue cup, a couple in the green, and this one in this cup. I'm just going to pour a drop right on my brush. So I'm going to dip in the blue and kind of do the same. And then over to the green. I didn't rinse my brush well enough there. I don't know what this brush had in it, but. doing that and turning black thing again that I don't love and I do want to grab this has yellow on it I think so it'll be fine I want to get some of this where it got muddy back off so I'm going to grab the yellow brush and drag it through kind of pull some of that color out basically where the red tones kind of met with the green through the yellow. It gets kind of gross. I'm going to put like another drop of pink at the top and see if I can get some of the pink to push through. I want just clear alcohol and a clean brush. So not the way I would normally clean a brush. I don't think I have another clean brush here. Out. That. That's it. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. I'll, I'll finish up the edges and um, yeah, and then I will just go back in and finish doing the leafing process like I did on this one. So, that is watercolor method inks on tile. This one has the tacket on it ready so. That one will be next. Alrighty. Please give me a like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it and you'll be helping my channel.